Hey guys, Opacity Buddy version 1.5 is now available, so go ahead and check it out. So I wanna talk about some of the new features that I added to Opacity Buddy, which are match transition and invert. So first I wanna rig up this traffic light from our promo so that the red light is inverted from our green and the side red light matches the green, etc. You can see all of these glowing lights are separated and they're all parented to the main green light. So I'll drop Opacity Buddy on these three and I'll invert the red main and the green side. And now I'm controlling all of these lights with one slider. In this next example, I have all of these letters parented to a controller, and they already have Opacity Buddy on them. You can see that they randomly appear, so if I add some Opacity keyframes to this controller, it's only visible on these first couple letters. So I'll click on the first one here, and I'll change this match transition to source endpoint. Then I have to copy and paste this Opacity Buddy effect onto all of the other layers. And since they already have Opacity Buddy applied to them, their effects will update. And now no matter the layer's endpoint, they have this exact transition. And I can modify the keyframes on this controller and it will modify it for all of them. And you can also use this for transitions out. One final example where invert might be nice is in situations like this, where I want to switch between these two clips. In one of them, I've rendered the character walking and the other I have him facing the camera. Instead of having to drop two sets of keyframes every time, I've set this up so that we can use Opacity Buddy and only have to change one set of keyframes. One last thing I want to go over, and this is in the installation instructions, but make sure to set your project to use JavaScript. So click here, go to Expressions, and click JavaScript. Otherwise, Opacity Buddy won't work right for you. So I'm excited to hear what you all think about the new updates and how you might be using them. Obviously, you can still use it in all the old ways that you used Opacity Buddy. If you want to know more about it and see more of its uses, I'll link the original Opacity Buddy video below. Let me know what you think, and make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss more free tools and tutorials like this.